Balsam Tarantino Film Company, how may I help you? Sorry, for what? You need footage for a Tarantino detail video that makes Tarantino films more insane? It's on its way. Damn it, forgot to mention Pulp Fiction suitcase. Thank you. You may know Quentin Tarantino from his dialogue, complex characters or for his storytelling. But another underrated trademark of his is his talent for hiding details that may even connect his characters from one movie to another. That's why I want to show you 5 hidden details that make the icing on the cake in Tarantino films. Now let's start off with a connection between these two movies. In Inglorious Bastards, we got numerous scenes with Michael Fassbender's Archie Hickox. And in The Hateful Eight, we got numerous scenes with Tim Roth's Oswaldo Mowbray. But have you ever noticed that Oswaldo is like a great grandfather to Archie? Towards the end of The Hateful Eight, Oswaldo's true identity was revealed when we got to know that Pete English Pete Hickox was his true name. Something that is very hard to find due to both characters different time periods and their roles. Do you see that man over there? His name is Antonio Margheriti. Another character who's referenced in not just one, but in three minus one Tarantino movies. Once again, in Inglorious Bastards, his reference when Donny Donowitz pretends to be a cameraman named Antonio Margheriti. And in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, when Rick Dalton's career in Italy is showcased. More specifically, when the credits for Rick Dalton's Operazione Dinomite appear on screen. Now in Pulp Fiction, there was a very intense scene where Mia had to deal with the consequences of sniffing cocaine. In fact, the scene might have been so intense that most people forget this shot. Especially the operation and live board games in the left hand corner. As this little detail helps to confirm the theme of life over death whilst trying to save Mia. Now, I guess it's time to show references of the thumbnail and the bottles in the window. But first, the thumbnail. Whether you've watched Django Unchained or not, it may be fun to pay some extra attention to Django's teeth. This little detail was born when one of the main characters in Django Unchained said that he used to be a dentist, but didn't practice it for quite some time. Still, through Django Unchained, shot by shot, Django's teeth only become wider and wider, secretly giving away that some dental work had taken place. And finally, off to Tarantino's very first movie, Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> Reservoir Dogs already is a movie full of hidden details and references to pop culture. But one of my personal favorites comes from this shot. Whilst Mr. White and Mr. Pink wash their hands, the pink and white soap containers are separated from the orange ones. As incredible as it seems, something comparable actually occurs later on, when Mr. Pink suggests that Mr. Orange might be an undercover cop, ultimately showing some form of segregation. All in all, the icing on the cake. Sir, you're under arrest for unnecessary murder. <laughs>